how to create a glass effect design such as this in Photoshop. I'm using displacement maps and patterns, but you could use anything. Key thing is noise. That's gonna be my source displacement. So how to do that? Go to edit and fill, and just fill it with gray, 50% gray and click okay. Then go to filter, I'm gonna go for noise. There's a variety of different options for noise, but I'm just gonna go for this one, filter and noise and add noise. So add noise, click there, and you've got this. Now I'm setting it to the max. You can see it's set to about 397% and uniform and monochromatic because I want black and white. That's for the displacement map. Just uses black and white. So click okay. And you of course could apply it again if you wish. But also, I'm going to use another filter. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. So Filter Gallery, and of course it goes to a previous one. So expand the texture and go for stained glass. And stained glass is great because it produces all these lovely black and white, but you can really see a very, very intense image, I think. Set the cell size fairly low. I'm using eight and four and one. But of course you can vary. You can change the light intensity, put it down to zero, and then click OK. And you can see the result there. Now as a displacement map, you need to save it as a PSD file. That's the format for Photoshop. So file and save as. You just need to go to save as, save it as file. So, and you can see Photoshop. Now I've already got it there, test.psd, but let's click save and replace. So it's saved. Now I can use it. So go here and look at this. Well, this design depends on the image you've got beforehand. So if I undo that, you can see the result there. There's the design, the initial design. And of course, it depends on the pattern design here you've got. Now I'm gonna use a different one than this. So it's not gonna be exactly the same, but say this one. So pattern, and of course you could have thousands of patterns. It doesn't even have to be a pattern. It could be an image as well. So let's just drag this across and you can see the design there. Now, if you're using a pattern, you can use the layers panel and you can see there you've got a pattern layer. So double click that and you can scale it. So let's just reduce down to say 25 and you can see the design. Now I'm just gonna flatten it. So layer and flatten image. Now in the previous one, I actually used some oil paint filters. So filter, stylize and oil paint. Though in this case, probably not gonna be much use. So go to filter and filter gallery. And now, it's obviously using stained glass. That was the previous one I was using. So distort and glass. And you can see the result there. You can see the effect. And what I can do, I can change the distortion. I've got them all to the max. So distortion 20, 15 for smoothness, and 200 for scaling, and using that test file. So click there, load texture. Obviously here, I can't select it because I'm actually using it at the moment. But otherwise you get the load, and you can load it and then click OK. Now it doesn't look the same as the other one, but what you can do, you can go to edit and you can say fade the filter gallery. And that was the one with that displacement, so that distortion, and go there and go for difference. So I've got there opacity, I'm setting to 100%, but you've got all these other options as well. So you could go for lighten, screen, color dodge, any of them creates all kinds of wonderful designs as well and go with difference. With difference, brings in a lot more color. You've got that, of course, that lovely mosaic design there, that tiles there, you've got, click OK. Well, at this point, I'm gonna apply the oil paint. So oil paint, so filter, and I go down to stylize and oil paint. You don't have to apply it, but it creates a nice smeary effect. I, I really love that smeary effect. Set it to about 10, 10, no lighting. I always turn that off, click OK. And you can apply it a couple of times. So filter an oil paint. Once you've done that, you can color it up, brighten it up a bit, because oil paint quite often makes it a lot darker. So I think it's always a really good idea just to brighten it up a bit. So image, now you can use adjustments. You could use auto tone, just try that. I think that creates a nice effect itself, but just going for image adjustments and levels. So I'm just gonna push that there, the input levels, and just change that and click OK. And you can see then you got your end design using that displacement map. So from that original pattern design, you've now got this. 
very, very different. And this can be used for anything, images, gradients, type, anything can be distorted and modified using this approach, using combination of the glass. But also the key thing is to bring the color in, is to go to edit and the fade command. Fade is very useful, use it with difference or any of the others as well. And again, any of these patterns could be used as well. This library feature, if you want to create a pattern very quickly to use with this design, very good way of doing it, simply go to libraries and go down here and there's a little plus. Click there and you can extract from image and literally thousands of different pattern designs can be created and then combined with this approach using the displacements and glass distortion, etc. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments. Always great to hear from you. Bye.